Hello everyone, today on Sea of Turbo Weekly we are going to be designing a centrifugal pump impeller with hub and shroud solids and a secondary flow path. So to get started we're going to go and click the pump module on the left hand side and we're going to implement our design point. So I'll do 227 cubic meters per hour ahead of 70 meters and a rotational speed of 3600 rpm. I'll leave the fluid as water and we can let the inlet conditions stay at their default values. On the right hand side, you can see that CF Turbo computes a specific speed based off of the design point. We get a specific speed of 37.4 in EU units, and that points towards a centrifugal medium pressure uh, pump impeller. I'm going to click OK. So now we're going to take CF Turbo's design suggestion and under add component, we're going to go down to new centrifugal impeller, select that. And usually in the design process, this is where you go down the line, um, start with main dimensioning, meridional contour, blade properties, blade mean lines, blade profiles, and finally blade edges. Um, and you, you design your impeller yourself, but you can also cheat a little and you can select the complete all design steps button. And so this creates an impeller based off of um, turbo machinery design heuristics and other experimental data. Um, so this is really helpful whenever you might not be a turbo machinery design expert, kind of a beginner at this. Um, see if turbo spits out a, um, a pretty good uh, first design um, for you to, you know, improve later on. Okay, now we're going to go to the second step, meridional contour. On the left hand side, the first thing you see is the primary flow path. I'm going to maneuver and tweak some of these control points just so we have a gradual and continuous increase in cross-sectional area from inlet to outlet. So if you uh, can move some of these points, move this one to the left. Okay, and then to add hub and shroud materials, you go to the second tab and check this material contour design. And then you can see this green structure is the shroud solids and then this blue is the hub solid. You can go ahead and move this around. Okay, great. Then to build a secondary flow path, we're going to provide some type of non-rotating inlet and outlet component. So I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that our impeller with our hub and shroud solids on the left hand side, you're going to select add component at inlet side, new stator. And then in stator type, I'm just going to Select axial diffuser, give it some arbitrary value. I'm going to do 100 millimeters for the length. And then we're going to need to provide a gap between the outlet of the stator and the inlet of the impeller. So we're going to go to outlet. And then in the delta Z, we're just going to do a value of negative one at the hub shroud. Okay, great. Then for the outlet, we're going to select add component at outlet and then go down to new outlet volute. And then again, I'm just going to go to the complete all design steps button. And it creates a volute.
Now I'm going to go back to the impeller. Go to the second step, meridional contour. Go to the third tab, secondary flow path, and then check the secondary flow path design. Great. And so now we have contours for the secondary flow path or leakage flow path contour on the hub and shroud side. And I'm going to do some maneuvering here. Put this curve. Okay, great. Once you're done with the secondary flow path, you're gonna click OK. And here you can see the stator, impeller, and volute in the meridional view. And if you go to 3D model, you can see the stator, impeller, and volute in the 3D view. Um, I'm gonna give it a clipping. And if we see it, from this cross section, you get a good view with the secondary flow path right here. Let's get down here. All right. Thanks for watching.